unfortunately this year we have to do virtual awards. To all the players winning awards, I want to, I want to congratulate you. Thank you for flying the KZN flag high and for making the Hollywood Bets Dolphins team the Momentum Cup champion. So we have got our next Hollywood Bets Dolphins awardee for the season. We're at the George Pub in the Amschlange village. Marcus Ackerman has been awarded the Fielder of the Season award. Marcus, it must be a great award to get given given the pressure that's on players throughout the season and, and the two competitions that you guys have played. I know that spending a lot of hours out in the field, especially in four-day cricket, to get the field of the season, are you happy with that? Yeah, it's quite, it's quite nice to be rewarded for it, um, especially because, you know, obviously fielding is uh, such a main part of the game. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not a bowler, so I have to obviously try to contribute where I can, and obviously it's nice to get an award or get recognised for field of the year. For you, when you're playing those four-day games in Maritzburg and it's 40 degrees and you guys are in the field, do you take it upon yourself to, to sort of be the motivator in, in the side? Yeah, look, I always try to lead from the front and make sure if, if it is quite a bumpy field, try and put your body on the line or, you know, do what's, what's required. So it, it isn't always easy, but in, in fielding it comes with a lot of pressure, especially if it is four-day cricket or if it's maybe T20 cricket or TV games, uh, you know, it's quite a, quite a bit of pressure um, when, when other people can see you. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, quite a, it's quite a nice thing to be, to be good at because then it does lift other people or the other players. You said leading from the front. You captained the side in the four-day competition this year. Tell me about that. How was that for an experience, especially given the, the start to the season and then how we came back in the, in the four-day stuff? Yeah, look, it's uh, it's quite a privilege to, to be captain of the, of the Dolphins team. Um, like I said, I've tried to try to lead from the front and, and set a good example for the for the guys and uh, and make sure you know fielding is something that's that's not a that's something you can really work hard on. And, and I mean, just the intensity and and, and showing uh, showing the guys uh, what, you know what's what's required and what standard we want to have. Um, I mean, that's that's just that's just how I am as a person and how I want the Dolphins to go forward. And then from a batting perspective, you had another good season for the Dolphins in the four-day game. Were you a little bit disappointed with your with your one-day form? Yeah, look, I'm still trying to figure out a little bit with uh, my game, a little bit regarding my one-day cricket, but it's getting there. And uh, you know, I just just didn't really convert. So I got good starts throughout the campaign, and then uh, just threw it away. So still learning, still you know, working on a, on, on how I am as a player or how I'm going to play one-day cricket. Um, but four-day cricket at the moment has well, been my strength, and I'm really like. Quite, quite focused on that, and I'm, I was, I was happy with my performances throughout the season. And then, just from a general perspective, obviously higher honours, protest honours is the goal. You it seems like you almost there, almost amongst the, the the top end players in the country. That must be a massive, a massive goal for you coming into the new season. Yeah, look, playing for South Africa is a, it's any guy's dream that plays the sport. Um, for me, at the moment, that's obviously the goal, um, but. For short term now, I'm just going to work harder in my game for the Dolphins, make sure I'm a permanent fixture on the team and just contribute and look to look to score big runs. That's pretty much where I'm at. I think with the guys coming in, the guys that we brought in in the offseason, getting into that 11 is going to be difficult next season. Yeah, look, um, I'm not really phased about uh, you know, looking at other guys or how I'm not going to fit in or whatever. So, because we've got a good group regardless. Uh, every single player contracted is can play at any time. So, we've got a good group of guys, and it's quite exciting. So, it makes if you are playing, put you under a bit of pressure, which is always good for, uh, for the for the team culture. And just talk me, just yeah, just talk me through the, the squad going into the new season with the guys that we've brought in. You mentioned that you've got a strong squad, but have we have we? got the right players in the right positions that we were looking for? Yeah, definitely. Look, we've got some serious players that's come into the squad. Um, not that we've never had any serious players in the squad, but uh, we've, we've got some exciting guys in the team and the guys are working really hard in this offseason. Everyone has had a bit of extra time for, uh, to, you know, to focus on their fitness levels and, and on their skills. So seeing the guys train every day and at the intensity that they are training at is it's good to see and everyone's keen to get running at. Okay, let's just let's move away from cricket. I know you're a keen golfer. What else do you sort of like to do in your off time? Well, at the moment, it's just uh, it's just whenever I get a chance from training, I just go go play around the golf. I'm not a I'm not a great golfer. I enjoy my golf, but I'm not great at it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, um, just off at the farm with the missus. <laughs>